Uh, hey guys, I was asked on a post last night um, on the ES8 forum about using an external control switch, which would be this little guy right here, um, to make a particular unit activate the hold function. You can see I hit this right now and that's what's going on here. And I wanted to demonstrate that. Um, I was asked about a Strymon unit, but they said if I could explain it as best I could with this, I would. Uh, it would be appreciated. So uh, here we go. I have this particular patch set to do that. In order to do so, you go to edit, <clears throat> and you scroll left to right until you see control. And it's this right here. Hit enter. And now my particular assignment, you would pick whatever assignment you're going to use. Um, uh, this isn't a template assignment. This, for me, is something that I use specifically on particular patches. So I, I usually go in and edit this towards the end. And I have this currently on assignment 11. Um, so you hit enter in order to get into that menu. And I'll scroll all the way back. So I have the switch set to on. <clears throat> um, and my source is control 2. As you can see, that would be this one. I have two little dots there. That's because I am stupid. And I cannot remember anything. I have it set to toggle. Now, I have that set in correlation with the, the way the DD reacts. I want to be able to hold it and let it go and kind of use it like I would use my freeze. But they act differently, you know. So, each, each kind of serves its own purpose. Um, so, I have it set to toggle. You could set it to momentary. Um... Let's just see what happens when I do that. Set it to momentary. And now when I go over here. Huh. Yeah, see, I, I don't like that. So I'd have to go in and change my settings on the DD. And I'm not going to do that. I, I mean, I just know I'm not going to. So now I'm turning it back on and off by going to toggle. Works well for me. I'm sure that you could find your way if you wanted to do the momentary thing. Um, and because you were specifically asking about a... Striming unit, there's some way that you would need to do that. But anyway, that's uh, the switch. The source is control two, meaning input control two. This unit goes into my one and two spot. Have it set to toggle. Scroll over. The category would be set to MIDI. Um, I know my particular channel is channel five for that unit. And I know the CC command I'm talking about is for this unit, 80. So I have that set to 80. And basically zero meaning off, 127 on. So that's the alternating points for what it's doing. You, if you're familiar with that, that's a whole nother, whole, would be a whole nother video. Um, but anyway, there, there's the command for me. I'm sending via MIDI to channel five at every time switch two is touched, it toggles that hold so that's that set for hold and that would be anything like if I wanted it to be um, within that DD unit I would use a separate CC command to have it do the other effects um, that there are um, twist warp all that they're all um, within that CC range you just look on the unit the nice thing about the DD is it has this screen you can sit there and dig through the menu real quick um, I think that's why a bunch of people are moving from the Strymons, but, uh, I hope that helps. All right. Thanks.